Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Unit Lost, and welcome, and welcome, welcome back to Until Dawn. It's me, Mr. Stylo, sir, and Mr. Kirioff, and this is uh, uh, Hayden Pantier's face. Is that a name? Pantier? I don't know. I think it's Pan... 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 Pantier? Pantier? Who, who Pan knows? <laughs> Somebody from Heroes, which was on the telly about 10 years ago, uh, and something like that, but she's... I don't know what's happening to her face, but all I know is that she's loving it. So, we carry You've on. You've been on the source. <laughs> we need a recap, Mr. Kirioff. What's the recap? What's, what's been going on? So, <laughs> Beth and Hannah are dead. There, there was a party last year in the mansion on the mountain in the forest next to the ravine. And, and there, someone pulled a bank on, on a girl and she ran away. And her sister followed her and then they fell off a cliff. Because a machete man with a weird mask on and predator vision and a flamethrower chased them. Yes. And now they've all come back the next year. Oh, and there was a crazy totem you? as well. Don't forget the crazy totem. And there totem. was a crazy totem. Sorry, sorry, yes. There was also a crazy totem. <laughs> Oh, yes, cool. Oh, my God. Like, these death totems, like, so cool. Like, I, I have. I eight. challenge you to read all of that off on the right hand side in that awesome American voice. Christ. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce half those words in that voice. Indigenous people and their butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death, black butterfly. What accent was that? De death, death, black butterflies <laughs> prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Lost, brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune, white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. That went a bit sort of. Uh, it always goes like, like crazy Texas at the end. Yeah, I do the I same yeah. thing as well. <laughs> oh no! Right. Oh no! Not no, a crazy just one line on the floor next to it. <laughs> this is handy. Wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh. We. What if we don't want? Are you allowed to just walk away and not know? I don't know. I want to know, bloke. Yeah. Oh, a yellow butterfly. A guidance totem. So there was a guy, there was a raven and a guy in the woods. Right. Sounds like it could be uh, an Iron Maiden song. The oh. raven and the, ma and the maybe not the guy in the woods. <laughs> the raven and the guy in the <laughs> woods. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, blow. That, that, that would just be terrible, <laughs> wouldn't it? For fuck's <laughs> sake. Yeah, piss off, game. I'm, Take me I'm to this. To right, so we've got this. But I mean, I don't know why the death totem still... Well, whatever. This is very um, revealing. Well done, Sam. The Raven. The Raven. Ooh. A oh, no, we clicked on that. Of something or other. I want to go behind. Oh, I can't. Invisible wall no, for the win. Game says no. Oh, no. I'm game so says cold. no, bro. Oh, look, cable car. Yeah. Christ. Look at the mountains. I mean, what the fucking. What? Where are they? In fucking Everest. The, the, the bloody. The, the, the Nepal. Mordor. They're in Mordor. Yeah, they're in fucking Mordor. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. We've got a great idea for a winter lodge. What we're going to do is we're going to build something oh. <laughs> on the edge of Mount Doom. Chris might be here, but I'm going to pill for his bag. <laughs> Not the, bag. Not the bloke in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go through, his, go, go through his phone. Oh, Maybe yeah, that's... Um, yeah, let's fucking snoop de snoop on it. Hey, mate, what's in what's on your phone? <laughs> snoop, snoop I bet there's I bet, I bet all his financial uh -huh. documents are on there. Look He's got his PayPal account on there. We're just gonna give ourselves all his cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't frightening. Whoa, whoa, did you just take a load of fucking selfies or something? Right, so he's got a weird. He's got a crush on Ash Ashley. And, and that's his, there is there is like his, his character trait. Okay. I mean, it says humorous, but I think we'll be the judge of that. Yeah, well, he's frankly. got a funny face. I mean, there you go. <laughs> you scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from. Was here. he the guy in the bush? <laughs> he's actually got a machete hidden in that hood of his. Oh. Yeah, the tech so says, "Fuck you! You don't look I at my phone." <laughs> Amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. It was a picture of your mum when right she was thin. Your mind. 
Right, is that the kind of caliber of jokes you're going to get off this guy? <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm just. I'm just assuming. <laughs> Well, so far we've had a, it's only a prank, bro, that resulted in two deaths, so I'm guessing. Oh, man, look at this. Nice. Right, so some big, massive... We'll well, no, he's not that big. Was, it would have been funny if it was seven, seven foot two. <laughs> oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. You see, look, first degree arson offence. Well, yeah, there's a guy with a flamethrower in the woods. It's probably him. Oh, yeah. Um, what year does this game take place? I don't know. Well, it must be the future. It must be now. It must be current. Oh, yeah, because it's smartphones. smartphones yeah. yeah. Great. I like how, once again, no one is commenting on the fact that there's a wanted poster up. But funnily enough, conveniently, the head has been ripped off. Almost as though the guy rad, right? wants Stop people to not know who he him. is. Oh. That's going to be people in the comments. Come on, look at these beauties. <laughs> uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, now with this guy. All right, then. What should we shoot then? Oh, I thought oh, you were supposed got, to shoot yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god, can you imagine doing that with motion controls? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just doing it for you, Sammy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. I'm bad. I'm a badass. Oh yeah. Your dick. It was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. I do. I think it was a case well, of beginner's luck. Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. How about I shoot you? <laughs> shoot the squirrel! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cap him. He's stealing my, my acorns, motherfucker! Oh, she likes that, doesn't she? Because she fed it. But I fucking blew it away! <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Oh, fucking what hell. What are you doing? Fucking How did you do hell. that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little cut was alive about 10 seconds ago. He had rabies. He had rabies, though. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. It's... Ah! What the oh hell? Oh, my God. Cut that in the way. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking out already. What? Hey, hey, look, uh, what, our, is our cable cars what the? Subscribe our ride. Where did he get the ammo from? There was just like a gun just on the fucking. I, I mean, and then a, a, why did the a, a, a crow raven <laughs> thing just came down and mullered her in the face, and it's all fine? Oh god! <laughs> he killed the screw. That's the best thing. <laughs> what <laughs> graphic? What the hell is he doing? Oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, a year goes uh, fast when you're an God. old fart and you're like, oh, it's a year gone already. All I've done is sell me ass. Bastard. What's this here? Mount Doom. It must be really hard to dash. I, I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, Josh is a fucking idiot because oh. Josh is having a party in the place where his sisters have been wasted. Which is completely cut off from everywhere. And you're even more of a retard, Chris. And bloody paid and what a panty face, or whatever your name is. Because you're bloody going there with him. Again? Why <laughs> would you do this? I'd be like, nah, mate. Yeah, that's weird. Two people. Doors locked. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Right. Not that creepy though, is it really? No. It's just people <laughs> shouting from like weather. Oh, quality snowboard. I'd have taken the gun with me. Yeah, that would have been a good plan. <laughs> just... He's gonna run up behind her and boot her. Have a word, <laughs> boom! <laughs> Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. 
How long is this going to take? It's a big mountain. I ain't got time to talk to you. <laughs> he just walks away, initiates conversation, <laughs> just walks off. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. What a crazy place to set up house. Oh, here we go, look. <laughs> Fucking Santa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hotel and Santa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what kind of a combination what? is that? It's only just dawned on me. Yeah, it's like... Come, come and stay at an insane hotel. Oh, okay. I, I, I need to check now that a sanatorium is what I think it yeah, is. It I'm is. pretty sure it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's where yeah, mental it's patients go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, there's like a, there's just like a computer in here. Oh, it's apparently most typically associated with the treatment of tuberculosis before antibiotics. <laughs> oh. oh, come to our come to our hotel and get your TB sorted out. Yeah, well, that's why we killed the squirrel to stop the the TB epidemic. Because yeah, nobody yeah, wants that's... TB, because that's fucking rancid. Jesus. <laughs> right, there's nothing more to see in this hellhole. Any chance the uh, the old car's turned up yet? Probably not. Wiley, you coming? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some disease, but... Okay. Was that a joke? I think that was a joke off Mr. Funnyface. I don't think it counts. Basically, a complete dickhead. I mean, if you had to run ground with this guy, you'd already have fucking chinned him about five times. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh nope. seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I bet everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Oh dear. You know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the day. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And and next to Josh. That's What's how we too? met. Is it just like man? We and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact. Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day, he said to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this little car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly. He's full of shit, this guy is. <laughs> right, mate. Butterfly effect. <laughs> what a... What a cash I'll give him butterfly effect. I farted, and that caused a fucking hurricane in... Um, Mexico. It set off a series of <laughs> motions. To... Oh, hello. Mike's new girlfriend, Jess. Irre... I thought that said irrelevant at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go far. She's irrelevant. Hi, I'm irrelevant. Now she boy, strikes boy, me as... Boy. <laughs> so we... Oh my god. What was this? The upper cable station. Oh my god, we've got some new chump. Oh my god, oh my it's, god. It's absolutely going to be an oh my god kind of person. You just know it. You can just tell, can't you? What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, what? over here. Oh god, I'm uh, fucking uh, shatting my nicks at this. Really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let it out? Pretty please? But, what? No. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just like. walk away. I got stuck playing the game because I didn't want to let them in. So I just stared at the screen for five hours. No, I'll let them in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> this guy's a I'm dick. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Yep. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal Playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. 
Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable uh -huh. of imagining? I wonder. Oh. You see, uh. he was talking about sizzling erotica and incest <laughs> became incest when I clicked and looked at it. <laughs> um, give me back, you fucking wanker. <laughs> give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Oh, uh, dear. Yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. The dialogue's blowing me away, Mr. Kiriel. Can't handle it. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. Whatever. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just going to wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. Christ. <gasps> Did you think gotcha. you? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget it. What? The, did you see how fast the cable car was going then? Built the lodge like Mental. Like cable car and... Christ, how many fucking selfies do these people take when they get introduced? God. It's like, shh, yeah, a thousand selfies. All these people have got the same voice as well. They've all got the same, mm. like, the same attitude. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm intelligent. I'm resourceful. And I'm persuasive. And I'm Mike's ex. I bet she turns out to be a bitch. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you know, you're probably right. She, like, they're all stereotypical, ain't they? It's like yeah, stereotypical yeah. archetype people. It's like you've got the clueless, oh my god, and you've got the um, I don't trust you woman. Now you've got the ultra bitch woman. You've got the dickhead bloke, the dickhead bro bloke who's going on about his muscles and his fucking dickheadness. And then you've got Matt, who looks this like guy, the, the goody guy, two shoes, maybe? Yeah, it looks like he's going to be the, I don't want any sort of trouble. I, I yeah. just want to have a nice time. Can everyone get along? And he's not going to, like, he's just going to sit there being, like, quiet and gash <laughs> and not talk <laughs> to anyone. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Yeah, like, he's being See? walked over. Look, yeah, he's, like, Pitch. carrying all the bags. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, honestly, yeah. right? I could have written this. <laughs> okay, let's have a discussion about bloody... Um, um, the opposite of feminism. This woman expects this guy to carry her bags. Why? Are her arms broken? I mean, okay, if I was in a situation, <laughs> I'd say to her, would you like me to carry your bags? I mean, okay, maybe let's share the load, right? But no, I'm a man, so I'm expected one. to carry them all. Yeah, at least take, take one. one. You know, fucking... As far as I can <laughs> tell, she ain't missing any limbs, she ain't pregnant, and... No, I'm getting kind of creeped out. Oh, she's got goddamn bag. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. Well, no, it's. What do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> right. Maybe this is the bro. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Well, did, did we already have somebody like this? Mike. This, this, this Everybody's guy, everyone's yeah. ex as well. What is going on? I know. <laughs> this <laughs> is the guy who who did the prank, wasn't he? Who, who killed the sisters, basically. Oh, yes, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, take your top off, and then she got killed by snapping his spine on a rock. Admittedly, after being chased by a flame-throwing machete mask guy. But still, still, <laughs> it was his fault. Michael! You really, really need to see your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for fun. It's just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. Spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Yeah, look, ultra bitch mode. Threaten! Oh, for fucking hell. It's gotta be oh. done. Michael, you gotta step off. Oh. Emily and I are together now, and it's just. Oh my the way god. It is. I'm sorry, I need to pause again. the game. Does this ever happen? Does that ever happen? <laughs> you know, has no, that ever no happened in the a... real world ever? Surely not. And if so, like, we're talking 15 year olds, right? Yeah. We're talking, we are. Like, we're talking what, playing Babby's first antics. relationship. It's yeah. Like... <laughs> Jesus wept. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we can move past all this. But, but, 
Yeah, fine. Mike. No, 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 it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. <laughs> kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, Emily, you like that shit, do you? All right, then. <laughs> Also, the word alpha pisses me what? off. Hey, could you take Hey, dude, you gotta be so way. alpha. The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Hey? Oh, that's the woman, innit? Hey. <laughs> I'm like, Sorry, what's going on here? I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. You can carry your own leave. bags. Hey, fuck you. I know, I'm not leaving you alone. Don't trust her. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. It's pitch black. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? Right, no, sorry. What he's saying is you're walking down a pitch black fucking trail. <laughs> In in the place where people have been murdered, and he's like, maybe I should come with you. Also, right, it's also worth oh. pointing out. Her ex turns up, scares the shit out of them. They get all confrontational. Yeah. He walks off in the opposite direction, and suddenly she needs to walk off in the same direction. Her yeah, ex yeah. has just gone. That's why after I got a confused, confrontation yeah. with the current boyfriend. It's yeah. like she's clearly going to go and speak to him. So why the why fuck would you just like? Yeah, whatever. Me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, him. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Uh, okay. Oh my god, Fine. Matt. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Bro, a pair. Just, just, no. Not on. Welcome to the playground. Fucking relationship simulator. <laughs> oh, what's this? Some some whack job in a bloody pair of binoculars. Oh god, selfie time. Oh my god. It, this is I can't handle this. Has a crush. Everyone's got an ex or somebody's got a crush. It's like the most fucking convoluted, stupid teenage love triangle thing I've what ever seen to in my life. Just being friends. No, no, what no, mate. To that? No, I don't. It, 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 that's not how it works in the playground. So Ashley is academic, inquisitive, and uh, <laughs> forthright. Mm. And she's got a crush on Chris. Yeah, great. She's also got a massive ring. Probably worth some money. <laughs> Ooh, let's do a bit of perving. Oh, here we go. Whoa, hello. Oh, we knew it. Somebody's getting a little friendly, and not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their breakup. But it was odds on that was going to happen. It was... Oh! It was clear. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that ass. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Okay, so this guy just slated the other guy for jumping on someone, and then he goes up and does it to somebody else. What a dick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Show him. Show him. Take Show a look. Him. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Boy. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. That fucking uh, bitch. Son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? Why are you shacked oh, up with her then? History. Why is he shacked up with her then if this is the case? Matt. <laughs> what? This is... This is pathetic, this it game is. It is actually... It is actually a parody, right? I feel like I need to Google and make sure it is. It cannot be real. I, I'm like... I'm seriously getting fucking confused to shit with all the, like, relationship stuff going on. No, I'm going to read the book because I'm a fucking learned fella, not a chav. You're going to read the book of words. <laughs> Give me your secrets, book of words. <gasps> you bastard. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Oh, How am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? 
Getting a bit uh, oh, stinky there. We'll throw something at him. She looks like she's in pain. I don't know, what, like <laughs> I don't know what is that? Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, bitch. Boom. Oh. I hope she picks one up with a stone in it. <laughs> bit of grit. Bit of fucking grit. Chuck it in his eyes. Yeah. Why have we got, like, fucking fancy romance music playing? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Can you at the bird? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on. Murder it. <laughs> grit bomb. Is this the Hello? grit bomb? Come on. Oh, you dickhead. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mike. Boom shakalaka. Okay. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> oh. You can't hide me, Michael. I know all your I don't tricks. want to not do nothing though. Oh yeah! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah! Damn, Chad! Look what you did! I know, I know. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Poor little Tweety Birdie. Stone Cold. Tweety Birdie, what? I didn't do it on purpose. That wouldn't kill it, right? Well, then again, I don't know. I don't know. It's Birds the size of its body. Shit. <laughs> oh, my Birds God. are pretty shit. Birds are pretty shit. He thinks Michael? it's funny. He's like, nice one. Oh, did he just kidney blow her? <laughs> done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, what's going on now? <laughs> I think you'd know that I'm not old enough to watch this. Alright, alright. I, my, my. I need an adult. Are we calling it my favor then? You were the opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. Maybe. Uh, one percent just did nothing, so we're just gonna do nothing, bloke. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. Oh god, it's vibrating. Make like it a beast. awkward. Wow. Uh, what's that noise? Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, moving on. Uh, oh, yes. in his head. What the... Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no, I shouldn't have dodged. Oh that shit. Really I should let it go into his head. Nothing was gonna kill us. Bah! Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Could wipe wow. you both out. You hadn't pulled us out of the way. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Crap, I thought that was just going to make me move and it was going to impale him. I should have just sat there and took it. Took it like a man. It would have been for the greater good though anyway, because I mean, these characters are like, they've been washed up in some sort of bog swill. <laughs> you get blowback when you flush the toilet and like something comes out because the sewerage system's failed. That's these characters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and how Hello, are we? Mr. Russian Swede. Seems we're hard to scratch the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Office is creepier. This time, the last session was two minutes long and one picture. To understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Why have we got like crazy gloves on? Why are we what now makes doing me... this session in his office at night when it's creepy as fuck and he's got no <laughs> lights on? Like, what's happened there? Right, what what worries you the most, bloke? Women or men? <laughs> what kind of a question is this? Uh, uh, I think we should do it based off what they've they've got. Um, the well, the the guy just looks. The woman is looking a lot more angry than she the guy. looks. Like I think, yeah, she looks like. I, she's the boss of a company that I'm working for and I've just been called into the office and she's about to yeah, fire me. Yeah, the bloke yeah. is just like, he don't give a shit. He just looks, he like, looks like, like he's doing a modeling job. gig. The bloke looks like he's doing a modeling gig. The woman looks like she's going to fire you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm frightened of the woman bloke. She's going to fire me. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Planes uh, or crowds scare me. Those aren't even remotely comparable. Though. You get a crowd on a plane. So, it's not, and and it's that, on a plane, so therefore I'm massively scared of the plane. <laughs> so my logic is flawless. Plane. <laughs> what's, what's worse? Water or a machete? Oh, wait, we were close. I mean, dr uh, let's face it. Drowning's got to be... Drowning's got to be worse, but heights, I guess, mm. it is the lower percentage, so you should go for heights, spread it out a bit. Okay. 
spread also, the word. I, I actually genuinely don't like heights, so that's actually, you know. Well, well, none of them do, but I mean, <laughs> when a snake is more liable to kill you. But then I have seen what film was it where they get a rat on the guy's stomach, then put a bucket over it, and then heat the bucket, and then the rat starts. Oh yeah, because that's stomach. the crazy uh, thingy method by the, the mental Vietnamese guys. Um, yeah, I mean in that context, rats. Yes, yeah, so I agree. Snakes, because <laughs> because they can eat through your stomach. But yeah, what do you think about that? how big his pen is? Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, that costs some oh, dollars. a gun or a knife? Ah, this is pathetic. What is scary? A gun or a knife? Well, it's got to be a gun. A gun. I'm yeah. sorry, but if you come at me with a knife, I have a, a decent chance of you could just cap me with a gun. Stabbed. You just really die if you get shot. A rat again? What? Well, oh, hang on. What about cockroaches? I mean, I mean, technically, you know, rats. I've never, seen, I have rats. never seen a cockroach in real life. I've never seen one. No, I haven't. We just don't get them over here, do we? No. We don't. We don't have. So them therefore, I'm scared of it because I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, I do know what it is, but I've never seen it. And it's if I did a fear see one, of the unknown. I'd be like, "What's that?" <laughs> and then you'd be like, "Oh my god, this is the worst thing ever." <laughs> clowns scare me. All the scarecrows scare me. I... Well, everyone goes clowns, and that's boring as hell. Yeah. Scarecrow from Batman. Scarecrow. He scares me, bloke. Because he's gonna gas the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now all maggots coming out of his mouth and stuff. Gore. Hang on, what is the picture for <laughs> gore? It just looks like... What is it? How is that equivalent? Gore disgusts me, or crows are scary. It's not even the same emotion. It's not even the same thing. I don't even... I'm just going to give a random answer, blow. I'm giving that. Crows have scared me for some reason. Oh. What? Did I startle you? No. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. You're doing very well. He's the guy in the bush, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's, he's crazed. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh, I don't he's just doing a fucking crossword. Says. No, that cannot be right. Spiders would be... That, that percentage is bullshit. Spiders yeah, no. would, would win. I mean, I don't care, but I'm going to go for spiders to up the percentage, bloke. <laughs> I know you're scared of Ron. <laughs> no, Ron. Ron's a friend, bloke. I haven't seen him for a while, though. <laughs> I fear needles. I'd, or... I'd say needles. Everyone else goes crows. Okay. Besides, what if that? Me what if it means you get stabbed with a needle? That'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like needled in the eye. Like, do you remember the bit in um, Saw where they get chucked into a pit of needles? That's quite. Oh, horrid. God, that's brutal. Zombies scare me, or nah, fuck off. Zombies ain't scary. Zombies are dead slow and shit, and you're easy yeah, to beat. Slow and gash. <laughs> That's not a dog. That's like a wolf. <laughs> That's a wolf. It's not a dog. I'm not scared of dogs, but I would be a bit scared of a fucking wolf. Nah, screw that. Needles again, man. I mean, the the wolf dog. Uh, a wolf. I know. I I want I want it to be my friend. Dog. What is with the needles constantly coming up? I feel like this book is dynamic and it changes based on my answers. How it's doing that, I don't know, because they're clearly sellotaped in and it looked grimy and rancid as shit. <laughs> Why didn't he give me an iPad or something? Then it would have made sense, game. You idiots, super massive black hole games. Uh, <laughs> storms don't scare me, but neither do needles, because I've been injected with needles so many times, I don't care. But go... <laughs> this is very interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you for answering so <clears throat> diligently. <laughs> Spiders. Scarecrow and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh? No. Oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I'm going to be overdrawn at the bank. Keep coming to this guy. <laughs> He's fucking <laughs> up. Yeah, we'll schedule another 20 appointments with this guy. Uh... Because, you know, we're, we're, we're making all that YouTube money. We can fucking afford to pay him. <laughs> I feel like I'm that swearing a lot in this. Worse. What the hell like... is this? Oh, Previously on Until Dawn. We know that. We've just seen it. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Why are we having to watch this again? We know this I is don't happening. I know. We've only... It's just like... An hour ago. 
Well, it's not even that. It's like 20... <laughs> half an hour ago. Off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for... For the sake of my sister. She just said she I deserves it. Oh, bitch. Oh, no. So I got moved back. Each and little and bloody poxy bit That's is going to do a recap, isn't it? Oh. To oh. Say, oh, Butterfly. you did this. I don't need more of these people. I need less. <laughs> it's like watching an actual American TV program. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time. That could be done in half, like, ten minutes. But it's stretched out to, like... Two hours, you know, like on Discovery Channel or something. Yeah, yeah. Always as a recap. Ugh. Josh is complex and thoughtful and loving, and he's a cabbage. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the episode anyway. Um, he's a cabbage. He is a cabbage. Uh, yeah. We'll be back for another episode. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure how long I can take this for, though. Um, if you enjoy it, then please show support in the comments below. Like the video and all that good stuff. And uh, let us know who you think your favorite character is so far. I think personally, for me, it's been... Um... It's definitely been the guy with the machete. Yeah, Machete Man. Um, the psychiatrist as well, I like him because his office is slowly getting worse and worse. I mean, we've, and the first one was nice and airy. The second one was like really dark and nasty. Also, so. I can't remember the names of any of the characters. We'll catch you next time, people. <laughs>